New York Giants are our final team to cover in the NFC East, and they have one primetime game against the Dallas Cowboys on Monday Night Football in Week Eight. That is all. Dylan, you've been very uh, known on this show to have a hot take about the New York Giants. So what's their storyline heading into 2022? We talked about Carson Wentz, right? We talked about Wentz and his final shot. This is the final shot, I feel like, for Daniel Jones in, in New York. Uh, the Giants have a couple first-round picks next year as well. And that's my storyline right there. Can Dable save Daniel Jones? We saw him in Buffalo, right? Offensive coordinator there. He had a great time. This guy's been an offensive head coach since 2002. He's a football lifer. He worked at Alabama um, under Nick Saban, calling plays there for a year. He's been a quarterback's coach in this league. He's been an offensive coordinator in multiple stops. If you want to get him right, this is your shot. Daniel Jones is, is a good quarterback. He can't stay healthy. Um, but this is a shot where you have some weapons on the outside. You draft a Wandale Robinson. I gave my take on that. Um, you have Kadarius Tony there. You have some weapons. You get Saquon Barkley back. This has to be the year for Daniel Jones if he wants to stick around in this league, either show something for a team that it could eventually move on or show that, hey, I can be a starter in this league and let's see if Brian Dable can help me do that because he's a great coach and we'll see if that can translate, can translate over to being a head coach and uh, getting uh, Daniel Jones right there. Yeah, um, my 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 storyline is about Brian Dable as well and what he looks like in his first year as a head coach because this is going to be a very, very different task than taking over as a OC in Buffalo. I mean, ha going from Josh Allen to Daniel Jones, I mean, that that sounds like it's going to keep you up for a lot of late nights. And, you know, the thing, my issue with this, with this uh, New York Giants team is instead of, getting better, which they tried to do. And they, you know, kind of gave some upfront help for him with Evan Neal and got the other side of the ball with Kayvon Thibodeau. I, I don't think they've done enough uh, to give Daniel Jones what he needs to succeed. Now, granted, I do think Daniel Jones got a little better last year. His turnovers weren't to the extent that they used to be. And that's a plus but who's to say that wasn't just a one-off of a season and it may go right back to that. Um, so I want to know if Dable can come in here and, and get this offense at least looking, at least looking like uh content like looking confident at the very least i mean you're right you do have some decent weapons when there's a saquon and a Kadarius tony and a sterling shepherd can stay healthy and i, I don't really want to say kenny galladay anymore we that seems to have been the biggest fluke we've we've seen in the last four or five years so um they've, they've got some pieces but they've got a lot of work to do so I, I i'm interested to see what brian dable can come in and do with daniel jones and if he can afford him another year or a short-term contract to see if he wants to stay with Dable or stay with Jones to bring him along or if they try to get one of these top-tier top -tier quarterbacks going into next season. Could we see – and I get, the, I get this feeling. I, I think we could end up seeing Daniel Jones follow in the footsteps of a Mitch Trubisky, of yeah. a, where he plays – He's got the potential. You can see the talent on the field when he's playing. I mean, we've seen the the, the glimpses of Daniel Jones making plays, and whether it be with his legs or with her, whether it be Danny Dimes, it, it, it's there. But I don't think that the Giants are there, and I think we end up seeing a similar situation to what we saw with Mitchell Trubisky, where he ends up being the casualty in moving in the moving in a different direction. And to me, when I look at this Giants team, I'm like, okay. Let's just see some some consistency here. Let's see that those we talk about with all the with all the rebuilding teams, the, these young teams like the Lions or the Jaguars or the Jets. Show me steps in the right direction. I don't care if you're five and 12, four and 13, something along those lines. Just show me the consistency. And that's just something that we have not seen in the Joe Judge era or the who was it before? Mike Zim was my, who, who would Dave get? No, who was before ben Joe McAdoo. Judge? Oh, what, what ben was McAdoo. It? Oh, McAdoo. Mike Zimmer, uh, uh, that dude that went to uh, the coordinator, the defense coordinator. No, what was the defensive coordinator? For oh, New York? come on, this should have been our trivia. No, it was Pat oh Shermer. my god, Shermer. There Pat it is. Shermer, Pat Shermer, yeah, that's, it. that's it. Yeah, no, that and the, but that's the thing, that's one of it's. It's those things. They, they, there's just too much inconsistency. Which whatever, with whatever coach you want to name, it's just been no consistency. So let's see that. And I have become a more a bigger Brian Dayball fan as I see him pop up at Madison Square Garden cheering on the Rangers. So I'm rooting for him. 
I hope to see this consistency. I don't know if Daniel Jones is the guy that's going to be able to bring you that consistency. And when you look at the standing six and 11, five and 12 down the board uh, from everybody else, I think that's the, I, I think a five and 12 season is enough of the giants to say, okay, Daniel Jones, we're going to move on and shoot our shot and hope, hopefully we land a CJ Stroud or Bryce young, because that's the other thing you got to think about guys. These bad teams yep. next year, whoever ends up with like, the first overall pick, a lot of teams have their quarterbacks nowadays. So there's not that many that need it. So the Giants could move up to one or have a quarterback fall into their laps at four or five, just like they, they just like they, we saw this season where they had Kayvon Thibodeau fall in their lap. It's, it's one of those things. You could end up seeing them with a the new quarterback in 2023. <laughs>